I want to show you how to make a histogram in Microsoft Excel and to be able to do that we need to first have the data analysis tool pack. So if you go to the data tab you can see over here there's there should be a data analysis button over here that there's not. So I'm going to show you how to put that in. So if you go to file you can go down to options. From options you get this menu to pull up and if you go on the on the left hand side you'll see add-ins and down at the bottom here we have manage Excel add-ins so hit the go button and you get to pick which ones you want to add in. The only one that we really need is analysis tool pack. So hit OK and now in my data tab I have data analysis right here. So now I'm ready to generate a histogram but to have a histogram I need a data set. Okay so to do that I'm going to introduce a really cool Excel function called ran between. So in A1, I'm going to hit equals. Remember when you hit equals, that tells Excel that it's about to do some calculations. And my function is rand between. And that means random number generated between what I set. So if I say, for example, 40 to 55, this generates a random number picked between 40 and 55. And let's get about 30 of those. So if I just drag down the rectangle here, it'll fill in random numbers. Now the thing about this is every time I hit enter into my Excel worksheet, this column A will change because it's generating random numbers each time it runs that calculation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and then in column B, I'm going to paste them in, but not just paste them in, I'm going to paste them in as values. Now watch, when I hit the button, column A will change, but column B will stay the same. The reason is, if you look in column A, I'm still getting ran between. In column B, I'm just having, I just have the values. All right, so that's what we're going to use for our histogram. The other thing that we're going to need are some classes that Excel calls bins. And the bins I'm going to pick are just 40, 41, 42, all the way down to 55. And Excel is clever enough to pick up the pattern if I just drag down this rectangle, I can go from 40 to 55 just like that. Okay, now let's make our histogram. So we click data analysis and there's a whole bunch of stuff we can figure out here. What I want to figure out is the histograms. So hit OK. Now I have an input range and a bin range. The input range is your data set. So for us that's column B. So I'm going to click on B1, hold shift and press down all the way down to 30, B30 hit enter. That puts in my input range. Now I'll do the same thing with the bin range which starts at C2, hold shift, press down, down to 17. There's my bin range. Okay, the output range is if I want it to show up in this worksheet, which I do, I click on output range and this is where it's going to generate. So I'm going to go to E2 and I do actually want a chart, not just the frequency distribution which we'll see but I also want a chart so I'm going to click chart output and when I hit OK look what I get. Okay so I get this really nice here are my bins and here's the frequency of everything showing up in those bins and here's a histogram modeling that information. Okay now once I have this frequency chart I can actually make a bar chart and a pie chart I'm going to show you how to do those using that information. So here's my bar chart what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my bins and the respective frequencies and go to insert and you'll see all these different kinds of charts you can pick. I just want to do a bar chart but you can pick other stuff so I'm just going to click the first one and now notice this is a nice chart but it's not the right chart because for example on one, well what does one even mean over here? One just means the first row of my data set and it's comparing 40 versus the frequency 1. That's not really what I want. Okay, to fix this, I'm going to right click and go to select data. And notice here that it has selected all this information. Okay, so first I want to fix my horizontal category. I don't want 1 through 16. What I want my categories to be are these bins. So I'm going to start at E3 and go all the way down E18, hit OK. So now I have my horizontal categories and I only want the frequencies to show up. I don't want the actual bins to be measured in the Y direction. I'm going to click on series 1 because I don't want that information. Hit OK 
and there it is. There's my chart. This is shows for 40, only have a frequency of 1. 46, for example, has a frequency of 4, as we can see here in our chart. And so that, that bar chart models what we want to do. Now, if I want to do a pie chart, it's the exact same thing. Okay, so I'm going to, again, highlight this information, go to Insert. This time I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick pie chart. And notice, just like my bar chart, this pie chart is incorrect. So I'm going to right click and go to select data and do the same thing. So again, for my horizontal categories, those are my bins. And then remember, I don't, I only want the frequencies represented. I don't want the values of the bins represented. So I click series one so that only series two is highlighted. Hit OK. And now this pie chart reflects the same information as my bar chart. It's kind of harder to see because the way it's set up, but there we have it. If you have any questions on this, I'd be glad to help. Please let me know, and thank you for watching.